subscribers welcome back to my channel this is inner heel tarot today we're going to do energy pairing it's been something that's um we haven't um, been doing for a while actually um between the <coughs> beloved dead which is an unboxing as well um the beloved dead by carrie paris and tina hart um and the memento mori uh lenorman and oracle deck by <clears throat> claire goodchild and <clears throat> i know i'm probably quite late in the game on this one on working with the uh with the uh, the ancestors uh, month i think it's already came and went but i feel that it's actually uh, it's still resonating for me um and i know that probably the thin not uh, the veil is not as thin as before um when it's supposed to be which is the sewing uh period but nevertheless here i am yeah i was really taken a, a bit of a apprehensive uh situation with this um yeah it uh, it's just taking me a while to get into this point basically um my connection with my family is not in the strongest suit right now so it's kind of hard for me um, to do the ancestry book and the ancestor work um, that's being highlighted by the Claire Goodchild. And if you uh, would like to work on the ancestry, this book is uh, quite fascinating to say the least. And it has a lot of very beautiful um, artwork in it and illustration and it's it's to me it feels quite thorough um if you also live in the local area as your ancestor i think it has a lot of rich pickings on what kind of um what kind of uh what do you call it uh what kind of rituals you can do um with your ancestors uh, but if you're like me someone who's been living abroad a uh, quite a very long time it's kind of a daunting experience um to wanting to work with your ancestors um and at the same time you don't have um anything to work with basically but in anyhow let's try to work with what we have right um Today we're going to see the beloved deck first, beloved dead first in the guidebook. So it is uh, copyright 2020 2023 by uh, Carrie Paris. Um, it's printed in China. Welcome to the beloved dead. For those who have asked even one of the these eternal self questions welcome to the beloved deck a dead a deck for both you and your spirited ancestor whose stories wisdom and experiences still seeks still seek expression the beloved dead is a deck that enchants with a heady patina of long ago lift these cards from their box and you'll feel that um, you'll feel that just discovered excitement of finding a dog-eared photo album nestled in the cupboards of an attic. Yeah. This is the thing with the, um, uh, the photos. That's, um featured here it's a little bit hard for me because it's not really my ancestry but at the same time i really would like to know uh, how am i connected so well with the western world and 
the way of thinking um, instead of the Asian uh, family systems. So it will be a hard one for me uh, to see this one. But nevertheless, let's try it um, to do the unboxing and the flip through together with the Memento Mori, Lenormand and Oracle deck. And if we have the time, we will go to the expansion. If not, we will do it another day. Because there are a lot of expansions in the Memento Mori, actually. So... Let's start the silent flip through. I think it's going to be a silent one, guys, because also I'm not really clear of what I'm flipping through here and I'm going to learn as much as you do um, in this video, okay? Enjoy! very interesting to have this card of attention and the dog is 
like a barking. It's very like a judgment call. So. Somehow I feel it's all blurred as well, it's weird. Wow, look at this, these two braids that would could probably hold shame from our previous generation. Chicken and rice. It's very interesting. And I also how this is um, quite resonating as well. And as you saw, I didn't change the connection or the numbers. It's like evermore is to anchor your relationship with each other. Tarot. Oracle card cartomancy in general is working wonders, you know. That's always how I feel about these things.
What is this actually? Oh my god, invisible. Did you see? This is like really, really scary looking for y'all, actually. Oof. And this too is quite resonating, huh? Paseography. This, um, this paseography is, I think, is reading the tea, the art of reading your tea leaves. To connect. Such a beautiful working together also the black and whiteness of this. Wow, look at this. Remember and more bear. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes whenever a spirit would like to talk with me in a way, it's always like giving a knock in my head, like a knock on the door, tuk, 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 like that, like that. But it also can be done with the more bell, I think. To remembering something oh, look at this shovel shoveling old relief 
an old ruinous service to help us to do this. <gasps> Such a resonating between these two decks. Look, charm and shine. Look at this glove and thrive. It's kind of like giving a meaning of certain social status. And that's the tribe of it. Certain skin. Oh, this is so fun. It's like you're she's giving you the harp this heavenly sound when she came by. <laughs> what a nice um surprise from the beloved. So look at the figure that's stuck in the door. It's quite macabre. Ouija board. just finished the two decks um, it's very messy now the two decks silent flip through and it's quite haunting to me um, because of both decks is um, quite connected even though that I never see them paired before so that's Kind of interesting in itself and as you see the way they created this deck is not really with the cheapo the cheapest uh cardstock the only thing is like it's really glossy that it can be bothering for some people and my first impression of this deck is quite haunting and um there's a lot of meaningful gesture here um the only thing that bothers me is like everybody has wings and I don't know if it's really necessary to be like that. Um, this is really heartbreaking, the absence of father figure and also the alcoholic, you know. And sometimes I don't think we need, or oh, this one is not having any um, wings. So that's really nice to see. Um, but yeah, in general, I feel um, the gesture of what the chicken man is also very sad, actually. The cowardice uh, archetype. 
it's also funny in a way but i don't know i don't feel very funny i feel a bit sad it's like what we hold on to from our ancestors are um a lot of difficult emotions you know the way we communicate with our sisters or our um the women in our family maybe it was conditioned to have it in a rivalry situation um instead of in a loving one you know so it can be very confusing uh, to receive certain um, emotion from people who reminds us of our own family and i think this deck can be good to explore that where is it come from the possibilities um and even though I, I don't see that many colorful people in here but i think i don't know because uh, the term of um, incarnation is not just about the bodily function uh, from the physical but also in the soul level you could be um a native american uh, one lifetime and next time you're a chinese or indian person for example and next time you're a white person and a black person and it's kind of like the beloved dad it's not really a dad relative to me but it's more like our own past incarnation of who we are and in a way it's so it's it's a channel it's it's a portal to access our own self our own um, um, our own um, incarnation in the past basically so that's why it's beloved that right it's not necessarily just the people in our past but it's also can be ourself what is the residue that we have in our soul you know and to have it together uh, in in conjunction with the memento mori remember that basically um there's a lot of dead going on in this video so i hope um you're not really put off with this and i promise next time we probably will uh, bring this to the to the service and it's also for me um, it's to remember what we um, what we let go of already in a soul level um, and probably we unconsciously picked it up again in this lifetime and um it can create chaos and confusion because it's like how to resolve this situation kind of feel so i don't know yet as well i'm still new at this um or like i said working with the ancestor so is something that i really want to do at this moment um maybe because it's right it's time um for me there are certain things about my ancestry that i probably need to know even though i'm not well connected with my um with my family in general um so these two books uh these two decks three basically and together with the book of seans as well um I'm going to uh, work with it and probably I will do a video. I think I haven't done a video of October and November uh, deck review, but I'm planning on um, doing it very soon and uh, publish it before uh, December 15 for sure. Okay, so um, please do have a good day and night. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and share and comments. What do you think? Do you work with your ancestors this uh, Samhain period? And what did you find? I always love to read the, um, the comments as well because I learn so much from the comments. 
from you guys as well so thank you so much for that and see you in the next video bye bye